Hello there. Welcome to Lakeview Center's Medication Assisted Treatment Program. We are glad you could attend our orientation today. We imagine you have lots of questions about methadone treatment. That's quite natural. If by the end of the presentation we have not addressed your questions or concerns, please let us know. Information is power and the more information you have, the better decisions you will make. The word methadone sometimes elicits strong reactions from others, maybe even yourself. For some of you, the very idea of methadone treatment may be more than a bit scary. Let's try and address some of your concerns. So why are you here? Has your life felt out of control lately? Have others pressured you about the kind or amount of drugs you are using? Has your drug habit caused you unexpected financial or legal problems? Are you tired of chasing your drug of choice and being dope sick? Have you tried to quit using your drug but just can't seem to stop? Are you just sick and tired of being sick and tired? So, if you feel like you're running faster and faster and getting nowhere, or if you're tired of feeling like there's a monkey on your back, well, the answer just might be medication-assisted treatment, also known as MAT. So what exactly is medication-assisted treatment, or MAT for short? MAT is the use of medications in combination with counseling and behavioral therapies to provide a whole patient approach to the treatment of substance use disorders. Research shows that when treating substance use disorders, a combination of medication and behavioral therapies is most successful. Medication-assisted treatment, MAT, is clinically driven with a focus on individualized patient care. There are many medications used for medication-assisted treatment. A few of these include methadone, buprenorphine, naltrexone, antabuse, and camprol. Our clinics specialize in opiate dependence treatment and exclusively uses methadone for our clients. When an MAT program uses methadone as part of its treatment program, it is often referred to as methadone maintenance treatment or MMT. So what is methadone? Well, this is methadone, at least the kind we use here at Lakeview Center. What is methadone? Well, methadone is a synthetic opiate. It is used by some physicians as an analgesic, also known as a pain reliever. It is also used as an anti-addictive medication all over the world. Methadone was originally developed in Germany in 1937. It is chemically similar to morphine and heroin and was introduced into the United States some 10 years later. Even though methadone is a synthetic opiate, it can be quite different than other natural or synthetic opiates. Here are some of the key differences. Methadone maintenance treatment is a comprehensive treatment program that involves the long-term prescribing of methadone as an alternative to the opiate on which the client was dependent. MMT is a lot of things, but it is not a magic bullet. It is also not a cure for addiction. It is not a pain management program and it's not a way to save money so you can buy other drugs. With very few exceptions, methadone maintenance treatment should not be your first attempt at recovery. MMT is a way to get your life back on track. 
It is a way to help you stop the vicious cycle of craving than seeking out your drug of choice. Methadone maintenance treatment allows you the time and space to resolve problems your addiction may have caused like legal issues, employment challenges, and family conflict. MMT tends to reduce the use of other opiates. It also tends to reduce the chance of dying from opiate abuse. It reduces the rate of injectable drug use in the community. It also reduces high-risk behavior associated with the transmission of HIV or other sexually transmitted diseases and has a positive impact on criminal activity in the community. There are other benefits to MMT, including improved physical and mental health functioning for the person on methadone, also improved social functioning, and most importantly, improved quality of life for those on methadone maintenance therapy. Well, so far, does this sound good to you? Does it make sense? If so, let's get down to the details. Here are some things you need to know. Here are a couple of requirements to be on methadone maintenance. Methadone treatment costs money. That means you must either have an insurance that covers methadone treatment or a reliable source of income to pay for your daily doses. Starting a methadone program then having to quit because you don't have the money is not in your best interest. While you don't have to have a magic carpet, you do have to have a reliable way to get back and forth to the clinic. If your transportation options are limited or unreliable, you might want to consider another form of treatment that requires fewer visits per week. Your housing situation must be stable. If you are in a situation where you're constantly moving, methadone maintenance may not be a good choice for you. We must have a reliable way to reach you. As a result, you must have a phone that works and can accept messages. In order to be considered stable, you must dose on a daily basis. Skipping doses for any reason is considered a sign of instability. If you absolutely must miss a dose, please contact your counselor and tell them what is going on so we can make a note in your record. Counseling is not just a suggested component of MMT, it is also a requirement under state and federal law. Remember that this is a medication assisted treatment program and that medication is only part of a larger treatment plan. As a patient in an MMT program, you are subject to a lot of scrutiny. Our nurses will be evaluating you every time you come to the dosing window. If you appear to be in any way altered or under the influence, they may want to evaluate you further or even ask for an on-the-spot urine drug screen. Every client on MMT is required to be urine tested at least one time per month. Our internal standard is that we attempt to test every one of our clients 18 times over the course of a year. That is a lot of testing, but is one of the ways we can tell if the program is working for you. If you test positive for unapproved substances, then your counselor or nurse will be informed and a determination will be made if you need to see the program's medical director. Repeated positive UAs can have consequences such as loss of take-homes, losing a phase, probation on the program, or even dismissal from the program. If you have outstanding legal issues that may result in you being arrested or incarcerated, going on methadone may not be in your best interest. Jails and prisons generally don't dispense methadone, and if you are arrested, you will have to go cold turkey off of the methadone. You don't want that. 
If you are okay with these requirements and request admission to the program, you will have to go through the intake process. Here is what you can expect. First, one of our counselors will complete a psychosocial history on you. We are going to spend a lot of time getting to know you and your personal history and determine if MMT is a good fit for you. If we think you might do better in another form of treatment, we will let you know. We will also let you know how to connect with that treatment. Within MMT, assessment is carried out by the counselor, a nurse, and the program's medical director, with each treatment team member focusing on issues related to their specialty. After the psychosocial, a counselor will work with you to develop a treatment plan specific to your situation. A treatment plan provides a map for your personal recovery and is an integral part of your care here at Lakeview Center. After completing the psychosocial with one of our counselors, one of our nurses will complete a nursing assessment on you to get a general picture of your health and identify any factors that might complicate your treatment program. Next, our physician must assess your physical health and psychosocial functioning to determine whether you fulfill the program's admission criteria. Candidates for MMT should meet the diagnostic criteria for opiate dependence and will often have an extensive history of opiate use, be physically dependent on opiates, and have been unsuccessful in other forms of treatment for opiate dependence. Upon your acceptance into the program, our medical director will write an order for your first dose of methadone and create a dosing plan for your first 30 days in treatment. It will take a while for us to hit your target dose. That's the dose where you are comfortable, functional, and not craving opiates. Everyone's target dose is different. It is not dependent upon your age or height or even weight. Everyone is different, so don't panic if your dose is higher or lower than someone else on the clinic. Now, let's talk about phases. There are multiple phases to a methadone treatment program. In order to earn takeouts, you must proceed through each of these phases in order. Methadone programs have lots of rules. Most of these rules are from one of the agencies that regulate us. Some are our own, but rest assured these rules are here for your safety and well-being. If you can follow these rules, your time and treatment will be much easier and more productive. Here are our Ten Commandments of Successful Treatment. Commandment 1. Thou shalt arrive on time to pay for and receive your methadone window dose as well as your takeout dose. Commandment 2. You must dose on a daily basis for methadone to be effective. Don't skip any of your doses. If for some reason you are unable to appear for dosing, please notify your counselor at once. Commandment 3. You must consume your entire window dose in full view of the dosing nurse. Do not attempt to cheek or walk off with your window dose. Commandment 4. You must have regular scheduled contact with your primary counselor as agreed upon in your initial sessions and documented in your individual treatment plan. If you are unable to make an appointment, please let your counselor know as soon as possible. Commandment 5. You must provide random observed urine drug samples throughout your treatment at medication assisted treatment. Skipping or refusing to provide a urine sample when requested is considered the same as a dirty urine test. So if you think you're going to test positive for something, go ahead and provide the sample. Commandment 6. You must never attempt to falsify your urine drug samples. 
Any attempt to falsify or alter your sample can cause you to be discharged from the program. Commandment 7. You must abstain from all unapproved substances, including but not limited to alcohol, amphetamines, bath salts, benzos, cocaine, marijuana, and spice. Failure to abstain from these substances can cause you to be discharged from the program. Commandment 8. You must let your dosing nurse know of any medications you have been prescribed or administered by other health care providers for any reason. Don't fill scripts without consulting with one of our medical team. Don't take any over-the-counter medications without our approval. If you received urgent or emergency medical care for any condition, please bring your discharge paperwork to your dosing work as soon as possible so we can include this in your record. Commandment 9. You must have your own approved lockbox to transport your take-home doses away from the clinic. You must never use someone else's lockbox or allow someone else to use your lockbox. If you don't have a functioning lockbox with a key, when you come for your take-homes, you will not be able to get them. Commandment 10. You must have a working phone number and your voicemail must be active to be a client on this program. You must always inform the program of any changes in your phone number or address. We must have a way to contact you to inform you of any unexpected changes in dosing or counseling. And one more thing. The MAT program is not the place to air your personal grievances about other clients or staff members. Arguing and foul language are not allowed in this program and can result in mandatory detoxification. Physical altercations of any kind are expressly forbidden. Striking another person here at the clinic for any reason can result in immediate discharge from the program with no detoxification period. We don't want that, neither do you. While we try to be understanding, Sometimes people struggle with these rules. At some point, we may have to ask you to leave if you are repeatedly unable to follow the program guidelines. Remember that these guidelines are here for your safety and for the safety of others. So, these are the rules of the road here at Lakeview MAT. If you think about these rules for a minute, you will find that they make sense in terms of your treatment and recovery. Before entering the program, we will ask you to sign an agreement stating that you have read, understand, and agree to these rules. Now, here are some methadone safety tips. Tip 1. Methadone should never be mixed with alcohol, benzos, and or other opiates due to their additive effect. Using any of these substances together while in methadone can result in death. Tip number two. Methadone can cause drowsiness. If you're affected, do not drive or operate machinery. Because this drowsiness is most likely to happen during the stabilization period or when the dose is increased, it is not advisable to drive until you're stable on a steady dose. Once you're stable on a methadone dose and not using other drugs, your driving reactions and thinking shouldn't be affected. Tip number three. Methadone is a very strong drug and even a small amount can kill a child. If you have any amount of methadone in your home, it is very important that it is stored securely away from the reach of children. Tip number four. Methadone can cause life-threatening changes in breathing and heartbeat. Seek medical attention if you experience these symptoms. Lightheadedness, slow or shallow breathing, confusion, tiredness, inability to think, talk, or walk normally. If you accidentally ingest more than your prescribed dose, you should call 911 at once. Even if you feel fine, if anyone else ingests your methadone, you should call 911 at once. Please read your methadone program orientation materials provided for you at intake 
for even more tips on staying safe. We really appreciate you watching our orientation video today and hope it has been informative. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know. Have a great day.